<clears throat> Hello guys, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was the day? Good. My day yes. was very well. Very well, that's good. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start the, the Friday. Yes, y el cuerpo lo sabe. No sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero... Yes, the body knows it. Ah, okay. It's Friday and the body knows it. Yes, that's true. Okay. okay, we're going to begin. I'm going to repeat the, to review the, the video again with the quantifiers, then while the others log in, and then we are going to do the exercises. Okay. Let's see. This one. Here we go. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, 
any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Remember. Okay, here both questions and answer. Are Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns. Both questions and answers are singular. A lot? None. Like this one, right? Is there much crime? Yes, there is a lot. Is there much water? Yes, there is a lot. Is there much coffee? Yes, there is a little. Or oh, you say that, uh, uh, yes, there is a lot. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any, okay? When you have here a noun that is non-count, okay, is there, is there a lot of sugar? You say, yes, there is a lot. Oh, no, there isn't much. No, there isn't any, okay? Is there much rain in these days? You say, yes, there is a lot. Oh, no, there isn't much, okay? Probably not too much. So remember this one, non-count nouns, singular question, singular answer. Okay, and this one can be different, right? Sometimes depends. Are there many drugstores in your, uh, near your house? Then you say, no, there are many. There is only one. Okay, so that depends. This one is different, but in this one is always singular. That's what it says at the end. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay. Now, we have this one. Now, any questions about the... Many, any. About the vocabulary expressions? No? no? Okay. So we're going to... This is where we stopped yesterday, remember? That we're going to use in the part one, for this first exercise, choose between much and many, okay? And then we have the other one, part two. There we're going to choose a few or a little. Remember, a few is for count nouns and a little is for non-count nouns, okay? And in the part three, complete this part choosing isn't any, are any, Keep in mind or remember count nouns and non-count nouns, okay? This is the part three. So here we go. Okay, yesterday we say that there is, we say here there is much noise, right? Okay, and the next one was there are many. Many. Okay, good. Now, what about in this case, number three? Much or many? Much. Much. Then we have much, correct. And then we have there is much or many traffic. Much. Much. Then we have much. And in the number five, we have there are many apartment buildings or there are much apartment buildings? There are many. Many apartment buildings. Mm -hmm, because we can count the buildings, okay? This is the buildings. Buildings. Yes. In the part two, now we have to choose a few or a little. There is a few pollution or a little pollution. Remember, a little, non-count, 
a few count. A little. A little. A little, a little pollution. Okay. And there are? A few. A, a few, few shopping centers. A few shopping centers, that's correct. How about number three? There are? A few schools. A few schools. A, a few schools. a few schools in the neighborhood, that's correct. And there is a little parking or a few parking? A little. A little parking. A little. There is a little parking. Okay. No, but if you say there are a few parking spaces, that's different, okay? Mm -hmm. Just only the parking. Good. Five. A, a few? A few. There are a few traffic lights, because we're talking about the lights, the traffic lights in the city. Correct. Okay. Very good. Now, in this case, we have to use isn't or aren't. Negative and negative. Singular, plural. Okay. There isn't or there aren't in the number one. I have a there question. Aren't. Any. There aren't. Uh -huh. Taxi in this part of two. Okay. There aren't. Yes, Selena. Um, uh, big, uh, I don't understand because keeping my count nouns and not count nouns, this instruction confused me because I, I, when I, I read, 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 uh, isn't any or aren't any, I just think in singular and plural, but when I, so the instruction, keep in mind count nouns and non count nouns, uh, this instruction confused me. Number two? No, 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 in this one. As a complete this uh, part, you said, isn't any, any, keep in mind, count, mm -hmm. uh-huh, yes. Because uh, taxis is a count noun, right? So then you're yes. gonna use aren't, plural. Okay. Uh, yes. Taxis. But there are some, but for example, look at these cases. Uh, when you say traffic, okay, here, for example, you can confuse if you say, uh, okay, here. Traffic lights. Traffic lights, but in this case, it's not the traffic, it's the lights. Okay, the mm -hmm. semaphores, right? So the traffic lights, yes. you can count. But the traffic, traffic uh, is non count, okay? Yes, and singular. And it's singular, correct. Uh -huh. And then here you okay. say there isn't or there aren't? There isn't any. Uh -huh. Then you can use there isn't any traffic. For example, okay. in this moment, yes. probably, in this moment, probably in, in San Salvador, there isn't traffic, probably, right? At this moment, because it's eight o'clock. But sometimes there is a lot of traffic. Okay, so that's why you say keep in mind, count and non count. So okay. that, keep, keep in mind is an expression that is something like remember, right? Remember. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. Look at the number three. There isn't or there aren't. Isn't any. There isn't any. Isn't any. The public transportation, right? Public transportation is, is the buses, right? And then in general, this one is in general. A public transportation sometimes is like money. Okay, money, the word money, you cannot count. It's not plural, it's not countable. But the bills, yes, or the coins. Okay, the bills is money, but you say I have two, two five dollar bills, okay? Then you say there are, there are a few, there are a few coins in my pocket, okay? But, in, but there, there is little money. Oh, there isn't any money in my pocket. 
Uh, here. Number four. There aren't any. Aren't. Aren't. Mm -hmm. so remember the, what we saw in the previous... Here. Here says there is little a little parking. And here there are any parking spaces. Okay, now we're talking about the spaces, okay? Plural. Mm -hmm. This one is countable, and this is not countable. This is the area. This is the, the area where you put the cars, okay? And these are the spaces in the area of the parking, okay? And the last one? There isn't any. There isn't any. Yes. There isn't any, okay? And that's why the instruction says countable, countable, non countable, non countable, countable, and non countable. Okay, and we check. And then we can see that all the questions are correct, okay? Then remember that there are many, there are exceptions. And this word, if you see, for example, any is in all the negative forms. And you can also use any for uh, questions, right? Are there any, are there any coins in your pocket? Are there any candies in your bag? Okay, so that's the one. Let me see one other thing that you can see here. I don't know. For example, we have this one. Uh, remember that this is singular plural, right? You have one phone, two phones, and you can use three phones, right? So you can use also here one cat. You can use two, two cats, okay? These are the ones that we can have in plural. We can also have uh, two shirts, three shirts. Okay. And then we have these words too. Okay, that we can use clothes, you know, this is always in plural. Okay, and then you sometimes have the word clothes. Okay, sometimes they use the word clothes, you know, like a fibra, right, like tela. Okay, pants. Uh, in England, they use trousers too. Okay. Well, jeans, you know, you always have the jeans. But you can also have a pair of jeans. Okay, a pair of jeans. In this case, you can have the, the countable form, right? See, for example, that. Uh, can you please turn off yourself? I mean, your microphones, so that you can. Thank you. Okay, then here we have, for example, they say these are often used with some quantifiers, or quanti to show how they are counted. Right example. 
a pair of jeans. You can say, um, oh, you can add also here shoes. Okay. And you can also say a pair of shoes. Okay, these are examples of difference. How do you say? This one is in general, but here you can say a pair, uh, two pairs. Okay, for example, you can say today, uh, two pairs of shoes. Today, I bought two pair of, let's say, casual shoes, okay? And here, um, let's say tennis. Okay, so then you can say here, for example, today I bought some. Okay, but some shoes. Okay, then you see uh, a pair, uh, some shoes in, in general, right? How many, how many pairs of shoes did I buy? When I say I bought some shoes. Look, how many? How many pairs of shoes did I buy today? Look at examples. Two pairs. Two? Two pairs. Two or three? Oh, you really, three. Three pairs uh -huh. of shoes. That's correct. You say, in general, you say, I bought some shoes today. Oh, really? Yes, I bought a pair of tennis shoes and two pairs of casual shoes. This is more, if you see here, is broken into pieces and then it's more specific. And this is the general one, right? You know, what I mean? uh, you can also say, I bought some jeans too. Okay, I bought some jeans. I bought a pair of uh, black jeans and a pair of what? Blue jeans. Not like in Spanish, right? Me compré un blue jean, un blue jean azul, right? O un blue jean negro. <laughs> uh, yes. So that's why in Eng that's why in English they use jeans, right? That's why jeans is general. Okay. But remember that jeans uh, now they come in different colors, right? We have yellow jeans, white jeans, black jeans, blue jeans, brown jeans, green jeans. I mean, any color, right? So that's why you say I uh, I bought some jeans today. Okay. Oh, okay. And you can say here some. Right, a pair of some jeans like this ones. Okay, and then you say uh, what kind of jeans you bought, right? And the colors. And then you have here some plurals. Okay, remember that generally we use Car, cars, okay. Then you can also say a folder, two folders. Book and books. Ah, uh -huh, correct. A book, uh, let's say four, four books. Okay, so you have other, other nouns, one box, two boxes, but also see, for example, that they use the R in here when they were finished with X, then we had two boxes. Uh, we also have, um, what else? A fox. A fox. And then we have uh, two foxes. Okay, when they finish with X, okay, here, the majority have, let's say the, the S, 
but when they have the X at the end is ES. Okay. Here is X and then you have EX. Okay, so these are the differences, right? Always you have box, boxes, fox, foxes. Okay, church. And then you have churches. Okay. What else? And then you have the Y, change the Y I to I E S. Like in this case, you have the plural with S or E S. Family, party, another word. That you remember? Vamos a jugar ahorcado. C. What's the next letter? No? E. Uh, the, the word is candy. Mm -hmm. but like, uh, yes, that's correct. But in this one, la que yo estoy escribiendo, it's very easy. And uh, C, I, ya casi lo ahorro. Sí. Ah, <laughs> okay, that's correct. Cities. Okay, incorrect, Beatriz. You know, you say candy, right? And then you have candies, right? That's another one that you can see. Right, how we change the Y, then the Y, the Y disappears, and then we have IES. And you know, and there is something very nice because if you if you remember these rules, estas mismas reglas. Okay, la van a aplicar en la tercera persona de los verbos. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same rules. So, okay, two birds, you kill two birds with one shot. Okay, because uh, if you say uh, here, if you use one verb, is carry. And then you say carries. Okay. Another, another bird that finished with Y. Fly. Which one? Fly. I'm not Fly. sure. Cry. Cry and um, uh, fly. A oh, fly. Uh -huh. Cry, cries, exactly. Fly, flies. Now, and yeah, is another that there are, for example, fly has two functions because fly, it's a verb, but it's also a noun. Okay, this one's. Let's say they are. Um, they are bears. Okay, verbs. But in this case, fly is a noun. What is fly? The insect, remember? Mosca, right? So I mean here you have the flies. But in this case here, you have the bird. Okay. Now, there are some exceptions, right? Here you have toys. 
you also have voice. What's the difference? In this case, you have vowel vowel y and in this case you have consonant and y okay when you have consonant then you change the y when you have vowel then you don't change the y okay y lo mismo pasa con los verbos right the same thing with the verbs play place I play football, you play football, he plays football. Okay, I fly a plane, you fly a plane, he flies a plane, the pilot, okay, flies the plane. So in the verbs and in the nouns is the same, okay? So when you use the third person in, in singular, right? In third person, hey, you have a donkey, donkeys, then when you have the O, potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes, or tomato, tomatoes. Okay, and there are some exceptions. Okay, but here we have this one, okay? So these are some of the rules that you have to, to remember to, to write the plurals. Teacher? Yes. You can share this document with us yes uh, but let me i will put it nice okay i will put it uh, nice to to send it to you and yes no problem and there is okay. more there is more information here but i mean because of the time and you know quiero hacer una clase gramatical too much but there are more there is more information here right and examples okay and then you can yes use. i i saw the document have or pages. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, exactly. Hey, actually, it's only three, and if I reduce a little bit more, it's gonna be like three, yes. Okay, you have it there with some examples. Sure, uh, no problem, okay? I will uh, I will share it with you, but I put, I put it nice and clean. Good, and then uh, let's see. With, um, how else? no questions? All right, then we see in this session, participants have a chance to read an article from a magazine and remember what is a skin, a scanning. What is a scanning? It's a strategy for reading, remember? It's a similar, it's the, uh, the, the meaning is similar like when we go to the doctor and we have a scan. Okay, the scan looks for a specific problems, right, in our body. Okay, and then when we read a book or an article or an, a page with information, then we have, for example, the reading says a skill in a scanning is only look for or search a specific information. Okay, then let's see. Here. Beatrice, can you read these instructions here? Okay. Read the article, then check the things you can find in Astoria. Okay. There are six. There are six things that you can find in Astoria. Uh, I can see. Yes, uh -huh. no, it says there are six. Now we're going to read it here. We are going to read, yes, here. Okay, good. Then uh, Luis Alberto, can you please read the heading, the information here in the first paragraph? First, first paragraph. 
the, yeah, but uh, the inf this information too. The title, this one, and the paragraph one. Okay, teacher. The word in the neighborhood. Scan the article, article then check the countries uh, the, that are not mentioned. Brazil, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Romania, Thailand. Thank you. Okay. Then if you see, scan the article, check the countries that are not mentioned. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Continue here. The sidewalks are covered with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese case. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in the restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York. Astoria was once a mostly great neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from and India, Pakistan, and Thailand, China, and the other over the United States are moving in. Are moving in. Okay, very good. What are the, let's say the, the words that you don't know, or new words, no problem with the vocabulary? Sidewalks. Sidewalks, Side, sidewalks okay. This is where the, look in the picture, where the people walk. That's the sidewalk, right? The street is for the cars and the sidewalk is for the people. Okay? It's like walk on the sides, right? Okay, good. Minor, read the number two. Okay. The new resident remain traditions. This is tradition bling talkative to make a story truly multicultural. We people are surrounded by different cultures. They adopt the things that they like. Say one resident here in Astoria, it is surprising. Surprising. That, um, surprising, excuse me. The um, India woman bulls, bulls, Mexican tortillas mm -hmm. from uh, Korea grocery store. It's one of the things that make the neighborhood special. It's special, okay. You see the, the combination of cultures, right? Good. Any other question about vocabulary or expressions? Surrounded. Surrounded, okay. For example, uh, let me see. Eh, Lourdes is surrounded by mountains. Okay, we have mountains, we have San Salvador volcano around, right? So this is surrounded. When you have... Okay. Well, if there are, if you can be surrounded by nice people. You can be surrounded by your enemy in a war. Uh, trees in a park. Okay. That would be surrounded. No more? Okay. Uh, Elena, can you read number three? Okay. Number three. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The red, the rents at, sorry. The rents are reasonable. The rents are Re reasonable. 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 The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants and good fresh fruits and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one longtime resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Has it all. Okay. Repeat, please. Has it, has it all. 
Hasidol. Hasidol, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, what do you think about a place like this? Hey, Manuel, how are you, Manuel? Okay, driving fast. Huh? Somehow, because very long. Yes, okay, good. But you are here, that's that's uh, the good thing, okay? That's a good thing that you're here now. No, no problem, no problem. I know that you're making an effort, driving fast to be on time. Okay, good. Now, what do you think about this place? Uh, do you know a place in El Salvador similar to that? Or uh, do you know any other, uh, I don't know, country maybe, or city where you can see that people, for example, uh, have dif uh, from different countries. Like for example, when you go to uh, Guatemala sometimes, you can find a lot of Chinese people, right? In Guatemala, there are a lot of Chinese people and they sometimes you can see the, the Chinese people buying, uh, you know, like tortillas similar to Mexican tortillas, right? Uh, from Guatemalan people and they, they, they eat that product. Okay, probably uh, in the United States, maybe New York, Queens. Queens is a, a, let's say a city that is, has a lot of people from different countries, Germany, Italian, uh, I don't know, probably Chinese, Salvadorian, Mexican, Peruvian. So that is a very uh, international, they call it the melting pot. Okay, you know what is a, a pot? A pot is where we make the beans. Yes, pot is como una olla, right? Where we make the beans. And melting is derretirse. So they call it the melting pot because many cultures se derriten ahí y se unen, right? So then if you go to New York, for example, the Queens, you will find people from Mexico, Peru, Argentina, eh, China, eh, Germany, Norway, France, Italy, Italy. So living in the same place, right? And then, so you learn how for Puerto Rico, there are a lot of Puerto Rican people. Okay, so you can find all this mixture in the culture, right? Good. Now then, uh, any more questions about this vocabulary? Teacher, what is the meaning of roomy? Roomy, that it has yeah. a lot of a lot of space. Roomy is that has a lot of space. No, okay. not the opposite of a small, right? Big. Okay. A little room is a big room. Okay. Now let's see what countries they didn't mention. He says, can the article then check the countries that are not mentioned? Which are the countries that are not mentioned? Brazil. 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 Brazil? Uh-huh. Only Brazil? Japan. 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 Okay, they didn't mention Japan either. Okay, okay you have Japan, Brazil. Brazil. What else? Only uh, Thailand. They mentioned Thailand. They mentioned yes. Thailand. Okay. Yes. Romania. Yes. Yes, it is mentioned too. Yes. Pakistan. Yes. 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 yes, Japan no, right? No. no. Japan no. And India? Yes. yes. It's Indian, Indian food. China? Yes, right? Yes. It's a Chinese China. store in Brazil. Okay, so these are the places that are not mentioned. This is a scan. Esto es escanear, right? You only, aquí no se lee. You can say Brazil, Brazil. Uh, then Brazil, 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 Brazil. Then you go like, this is a scanning. Look, look at the pointer, right? We are not reading. We are only searching, looking for information. Uh, China, China, where is China? How are the Chinese? 
they mention here China, okay, China here. Then you identify China, okay? Then uh, we also have India. Then you have India here, and uh, India is here too. Japan, uh, then you look for Japan, okay. So that is the scanning, remember, right? For example, uh, in what paragraph, in what paragraph uh, is the word neighborhood? What is neighborhood? Paragraph one, two, or three? Three. Three? Only three? Two. 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 Yes. And one. <laughs> uh huh. One, two, and three. Correct. So you can find yes. here, for example, neighborhood here, one, neighborhood here, two, and neighborhood here, three. Okay, so what you were doing, that's a scanning. Okay, in which paragraph you can find the word Queens? Where is Queens? Number one. Paragraph one, yes, okay. You can find here, for example, a neighborhood in Queens, New York, okay? So this is the one. And what about the word public? Where is the word public? One, two, or three. Three. Paragraph three. That's correct. You can find it here. Okay, good. And what about the word restaurant? One. One? One. Only one? Mm. Three. Also in three in plural, right? In number one is in singular and in the number three is in plural. Okay, here. Good. What about the word tortillas? Two. Where, where, Two. where, are, where are the tortillas? One. <laughs> Uh, Mexican tortillas. The Mexican one. tortillas, yes. The two. Number one and? Two. And two, right? So you can find in the number one where uh, traditional. Nobody in the number one, no? It's number one, no. In, no. Only so the, two. Only two, yes. Tortillas here, yes. Okay, good. The last one. Where is the war? Uh, changing fast. The two words, changing fast. Number one. Number one, right? You can find it here. Okay, so this is the activity, this is the, the exercise when you are scanning information, right? Scanning information. Oops, no, 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 no. Oops, oops, oops. Here. Okay. Now we have in the instructions. Manuel, can you please read the instructions here? Read. In instructions. Yes. Read the article. Article. The check the thing you can find in Astoy. Here are six. Okay. Then check the things you can find in a story, all right? Six things that you can find in Astoria. What are the six things from here that you can find in this city? Many, many cultures. Mm, many different cultures, okay. Mm, big, big, big apartment. Big apartment. Uh, Good big public apartment, transportation. Big apartments, uh-huh. Good public transportation, okay. What else? Nice restaurants. Nice, 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 nice restaurants. Yes, nice, nice restaurants. Nice restaurants. Inexpensive stores. Inexpensive stores here, okay. And great markets. And great, great market. markets. Okay, good. Are there any good schools? No. No. Well, they don't mention, right? Probably, but they don't mention, probably. Uh, are there any beautiful beaches 
in Astoria? Mm. They don't mention, and I don't think New York, the, I mean, doesn't have nice beaches. Actually, it's cold water. What about interesting old buildings? Are there any interesting old buildings? No mention. They don't mention it. Probably, probably they do. Probably, but they don't say anything about it. Okay, so only these places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure? Let's see if we get a 10. Yes. Very good. So we have inexpensive stores. There are inexpensive stores. There are big apartments. They are roomy, right? Roomy, roomy places, right? So they have a lot of space. So they have a, probably, maybe, they have good schools, but we don't know. A beautiful beaches, I don't think so. They, I don't, in that area is difficult. Probably there aren't any beautiful beaches. It's different from El Salvador, right? Are there any beautiful beaches in El Salvador? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes, there are. For example, in, Tunco in Beach. El Tunco Beach is one. Well, the, probably the beach not, but the environment, yes. Well, but for surfers, El Tunco Beach is great for surfers. Great. Uh, is there another, another... Tamarindo Beach. Which one? El Espino Beach. El Espino Beach is great. Tamarindo Beach. El Tamarindo, beautiful beach. Uh, here in La Libertad, there is another Tunco one. Beach. But I don't, uh, El Sonte, no. Sonte is surfing. For surfing, right? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I think it's a very nice beach here also in, in La Libertad. Los Cobanos, Los Cobanos, yes, it's a, it's a nice beach too. It's small, good. yeah, small, nice. Yes, very good. There is another one in Sonsonate in that area, Metalillo, but... Uh, uh, Costa Azul. Costa Azul, that's the one, Costa Azul. Yes, yes I've heard it's, it's a very nice one. Eh, El Cuco Beach. El Cuco Beach in San Miguel is also a beautiful beach. La Barra de Santiago. La Barra de Santiago. Las also. Tunas. Las, yes, Las Tunas is beautiful. Las Tunas is beautiful. <laughs> yes, especially for, for eating. <laughs> okay, for eating. Playitas and, en La uh -huh. Unión. Yes, also, wow. Beautiful. Yes, where, where are you from? Where are you from? How do, how do you know La Unión so well? No, it's, it's, it's in La Unión. In... Are, you, are you from La Unión, Santos? No. Where are you from? San Salvador. Oh, really? Okay. Me, me too, but I know this. I, I like those beaches, you know, Las Tunas, Playitas, Playa, Playa Negras, and then Tamarindo. Yes, it's nice, nice beaches there. Very nice places. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, well, those are, you know, the different places that we have. Uh, is there a good public transportation in San Salvador? Not. No, there isn't, right? No, there isn't. <laughs> uh, where where in, in Latin America, is there a good public transportation in Latin America? In which countries? In which countries? I, of Latin I think so in Costa Rica. Costa Rica, uh-huh. What else? Chile, too. Chile, okay, uh-huh. Where else? Believe it or not, believe it or not, you know, Mexico, Mexico have a, has a good public transportation because they have the subway, the metro is very effective. The problem in Mexico is that there are a lot of people, right? It's, there are, it's very crowded, but the public transportation is not. It's not so bad, you know, it's not so bad, you know. Uh, the, the subway service they have is 
very effective. I don't know Colombia, I guess they have also Transmillennial or something like that. And it's also, well, you know, it works well. Okay, what else? Let me see other, other places we have. Well, the stores, big apartments, great uh, markets. What about markets? Do we have a, is there a good market here in El Salvador? Javier, do you know any good market in El Salvador? A price mark? Well, price mark. You know, in if, uh, for private Walmart. ones, Walmart, okay. And market markets, like open markets, like Salvadorian style markets. Super selectors. No, but I mean Salvadorian I, style, like like not without supers, you know, just a no supermarket. El Mercadito de Marriott. Mm, that would be okay. That could be one. Uh -huh. What else? What is another market? It's Salco Market in the night. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yes. What, what, because what? in this place, the, the market is only in the night. <laughs> it's at, at tourists. Oh, really? Yes. In, in <laughs> yes, I, 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 yes, in Isalco? Yes, I guess. Yes, in Salco or, or, or around there. I don't remember, but I think so. It's in Salco. It's good to know that, you know, yeah, because those are nice places. Well, uh, also, well, you know, here, for example, the, the there is another one in Santa Tecla. I think there is another market. I mean, they have good products too. Uh, well, the, you know, La Tiendona is a good market. The problem is that it's big and, and a little bit dangerous, right? Or the central market, okay? But we have big markets in, here in San Salvador, right? So we have central market, market, San Miguelito. San, San Miguelito. Miguelito. San Miguelito market is... San Jacinto. It's similar, no, not similar, probably, probably similar to, to, which one? Central. Ah, uh -huh, Central Market. Central Market, San Jacinto, like you said, and then uh, in Merliot, right? Okay, so those are, you know, other markets, probably. Uh, great markets, uh, probably, I mean, it's difficult if the La Tiendona and Central Market were very clean, then we will have great markets, right? But for example, but in this case, you know, the only one probably Merliot and Santa Tecla are very clean. Also, San Miguelito is kind, so-so, right? But we know we have good markets where you can buy things. Let me see, okay. Now, no questions about this vocabulary? Nope. No further questions. Okay, so we have, wow, we have too much. We spoke too much. And then we have, well, the, the listening part of the test. Remember that here, you just always click here to listen to the test. You play here. Lisa and, then, and Peter and, are talking about vacations. And then you go back listen here. Listen and check the correct answers. So that you can... So check. Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time. And then you can check answers while you are listening. If you are not, when you finish, then you go back to the listening, play again, check again, and then like three times, with three times, I think is that you will be sure that the answers are correct. Okay. On Monday, we're going to check this so that you have this weekend to do it. Then we have completed conversations. Here says, complete the following conversation. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. Here, the, the clave is the 
answer. How do you work? You say, how do you work out every day? And I'm really fitness freak. Okay, it would be how, how much, how often. Okay, he says every day is the frequency. Okay, how often? Uh, how do you, you play tennis about average? Similar, right? The frequency. Every day about average. Uh, just 30 minutes. Remember the expression for time? For how much time? What is another one? What is the other expression? When we refer to the time. How long? How long, okay. Then you say, uh, okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Okay, how? Remember, if you... Uh, good are you? Uh-huh, how good, right? How good are you at something? Okay, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. Say, okay, I guess. Okay, not so bad. And then from here, complete the conversation, choose the correct past form of the verb given. You just have to select a stay or a state. But remember that you have to see if it is a question, okay? Because if it is a, there is an auxiliary verb, you're going to use this one, right? If it is affirmative sentence, you're gonna use this one, okay? So if it is a question, present. If it is a affirmative sentence, you use the verb in past tense, okay? So here you have Remember, there are, there, there are tricks. This one doesn't exist. Okay, um, let me see what else we have. <clears throat> Choose the correct answer. Excuse me, is there any gas station near here? Yes, there is. It, it, this is the exercise that we did today at the beginning. There is, remember, any is for? negative and four questions okay this could be one or some one is for singular some is for plural in this case okay you say excuse me is there a gas station yes there is so it has to be something singular but the question is singular one uh-huh if the question is in plural are there any gas stations near here Yes, there are, there are some, okay? So it could be plural. So you have to pay attention to count and non-count nouns, singular or plural, okay? This is how, how much, how many, okay? Uh, hotels are there, okay? There are a little, remember it's singular, many or a few. The pants here. How many hotels are there in the neighborhood? There are, and then you're gonna choose one of this. And let me see what else. Rewriting scrambled sentences. Then you have to find here, if there is no question mark, all these are sentences, no questions. There is, okay, this one is question mark. This is a sentence, negative sentence, affirmative, uh, interrogative, and negative. Okay, I, and then you have to use, remember that the, if you're going to use the frequency adverb is between the subject and the verb. I usually go, I never go, I always go. I always watch, so subject and verb. And this one. Well, and this one is reading. Okay, so here you have two. And the reading, okay. You have to read this and obviously answer the true or false. 
this is and that's the quiz okay if you have any doubts or problems with the platform or something let me know okay uh, let me see tomorrow morning and in the afternoon i will be i will be available estaré disponible no problem okay in the si lo ponen en la noche o en la tarde el domingo en la mañana los les contesto cualquier cosa right and teacher then, yes where is the exam it's in the platform um, wait a minute Está justo después. Ustedes tienen la misma plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces está. Yeah. Se, va yeah. a, ¿Se va al curso? No, yo no tengo acceso. Bueno, no he revisado si tengo acceso a esa plataforma. Sí, tiene que tenerlo. O sea, tiene que tener ustedes. O sea, que todos lo tienen, ¿verdad? Este, si no, mándame el WhatsApp ahí para a conseguirle que le manden todos los. O yo le puedo mandar ahí el, ¿cómo es que se llama? Los links. Pero después de esto, de lo que hemos visto, todos los temas, sección 1, sección 2, 3, aquí la determinamos la 3, y aquí aparece ya midterm, y aquí están. Estos son los que acabamos de ver ahorita. Ok. Ok. Bueno. Well, en el grupo de WhatsApp está el link para la plataforma. No, ahí y... se lo puedo mandar. En la descripción del grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí se lo En el correo, cuando la inscribieron, ahí le mandaron a uno el usuario y la contraseña. Uh -huh. Sí, porque yo, yo no estoy en un grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, entonces este... Pero sí tiene le, enviaron dos le enviaron dos correos, uno es para la reunión y otro es para la plataforma. Uh -huh. Sí, voy a revisar. Por lo mandaron. Uh -huh. Voy a revisar porque recuerdo un correo. Voy a revisar. Okay. Ahí revisé. Y en el correo también está el, el WhatsApp. Ok. Well, I have another class. I'll see you Monday, okay? Bye bye, guys. Take care. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. teacher. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.